the Westinghouse W Gen 3600. This is a dual fuel right now. We are running on gasoline. So we'll go ahead and fire this up and get a reading of decibels, voltage, and amperage uh, with nothing except the battery charger running on the travel trailer. So let's go ahead and fire this up. Push button start. There we go, 121 volts. 120, 121 volts. 0.7 amps, and we'll get our decibel reading. 91 and a half decibels with nothing running. We'll go ahead and engage the air conditioning. All right, put the AC on. There's the fan. Four amps back to 121 volts and it's about a minute time delay before that compressor kicks on and we'll see that jump when the compressor kicks on. There it goes. A jump up over 20. Now we're back to 13 amps and 120 volts. We'll get a decibel reading. Up to 98 and a half decibels. All right, shut it off. Let's run it again. All right, now put it back on right away. Four amps with just the fan, and we'll see when that compressor kicks on, the voltage drop. So just a brief drop to 118, and right back up to 123 now. Uh, now reading uh, 13 and a half to 14 amps. We'll go ahead and get another decibel reading. Decibels. Let's go inside and get a decibel reading inside while the compressor is running. Decibel reading from inside the travel trailer. The generator is about uh, 15 to 20 feet away. Uh, it's mostly fan noise that you hear inside. It's pretty quiet. You can't even really hear the generator. But you get a decibel reading. 69 decibels uh, in the generator with the 15,000 BTU air conditioner. Go ahead and shut this off. Now I definitely can hear the generator running. 41 and a half decibels, so it's slightly louder than the inverter generator that we ran earlier, uh, but still relatively quiet. Let's go ahead and get another reading. 40, 41 decibels, so pretty quiet. Uh, like I said, ambient, we tested earlier, was 39 decibels out in the middle of the field. Uh, anywhere from 39 to 40 based on if there's a bird chirping or if there's a wind. So uh, relatively quiet even for an open frame generator. Now let's go engage the hot water heater. Okay, now we will test the hot water heater. Nothing running. Go ahead and fire this up. Again, push button start. 120 volts. And this one should settle out about 0.4 amps right now. Uh, 0.8 amps. And we'll get a decibel reading. 92 and a half, 93 decibels. All right, put the hot water heater on. Minor drop to 119 volts, and now uh, creeping back up to 120. Running 12.1 amps. Very minor drop on that as well. If you get a decibel reading. Up to 99 decibels. All right, shut it off, let's run it again. As you can see, now we're down to 0 0.4 amps. 92, 93 decibels, and 121 volts. Okay, turn on the hot water heater again. Virtually no surge, not much surge at all. 99 decibels, 12 amps, and 120 volts. That's with the electric hot water heater on. Now we'll go inside and get a decibel reading inside the travel trailer uh, while the hot water heater is running. 45 decibels, so it is a little bit louder than when the AC was running, but uh, 
Again, the ambient noise was 39 decibels, 38, 39 decibels, so it's slightly above ambient. So next we are going to uh, run the microwave just on a standard setting, uh, quick cook. Uh, 117 volts, 1.5 amps, I think the battery charger is on in there, and about 91 decibels. So we'll go ahead and engage that microwave. All right, go ahead with the microwave. There it is. 115 volts and it's still stuck there. Reading 12 and a half amps. I'm not sure if you can see that, but 12 and a half amps. Still at 115 volts. 93 to 95 decibels. We'll try it again. All right, off. Watch the voltage. Now we've come back to 117 and you'll hear that surge. All right, again. Yep, so you drop down to 115 and stay there with that microwave engaged. 12 and a half amps. 93 decibels. We'll go on the inside and get a decibel reading. Inside, we'll go ahead and hit the microwave. There you go, you just hear it rev up, and now we'll just get a decibel reading where we would normally sit. Forty-seven to forty-eight decibels, so about uh, nine to ten decibels louder than uh, ambient. Now we'll engage that uh, electric fireplace. 117 volts, 1.2 amps, 90, 91 decibels. All right, go ahead with the electric fireplace. I jump up above 120 and now back down to 117 where we were before, pulling 12.7 amps. 92 decibels. All right, off, let's do it again. So there you go, we're at 117, almost 118. All right, again. A surge up again, and then we level off at 117. Uh, again, 12 and a half, 12.7 at amps. About 93 decibels will go on the inside. Alright, so now we have this uh, electric fireplace here, this Furion 26 inch electric fireplace. 46 decibels. Alrighty, next we'll uh, shut this electric fireplace off and we will run our everyday test. The TV, the radio, um, the refrigerator will switch from LP back to electric, so it's running on the generator. We have a couple computer monitors. We're charging a few phones. So just our everyday appliances that we would be running uh, when we live in this. So we'll go engage that now. Next up, we're gonna run the everyday appliances, the TV, the radio, couple computer monitors, charge some phones, the stuff that we would run on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's not gonna be a surge, it's just a slow creep up as she's turning those things on. All right, go ahead with the TV and the radio. So right now we're reading 1.9 amps, almost 2 amps, 116, 117 volts, seems to be about it, 1.9, 1.8, 1 1.9 amps, oh there's 4, so that means that the refrigerator just kicked on, so it's cycling that compressor. Ninety-two and a half decibels. We'll go inside and get a decibel reading. Have the uh, radio on. We'll turn that down. The TV's on. We're running our laptops back here. I have an extra monitor. Uh, we're charging a few phones, and the refrigerator is now running on AC. So we switch that over. Again, pulling about four and a half amps out there. I can definitely hear the generator. Forty-five to forty-six decibels, so that's about six to seven decibels, maybe eight decibels louder than some of the inverter generators. So that's the difference between 
a, an open frame generator and an inverter generator. Not only are we not putting out 124 volts, it's hovering about 117, but it's also, it's also a little bit louder uh, regardless of what you're running because it's not varying that throttle based on usage. So that is the Westinghouse WGen 3600 dual fuel. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It's what helps us to keep going. We'll be back with more videos next time.